Henry VIII, infamous for his brutal reign as King of England, was a monarch who didn't shy away from ordering numerous executions, even targeting two of his wives. These dark episodes have forever etched Henry's legacy as a terrifying tyrant, someone not to be crossed. In particular, the execution of his second wife, Anne Boleyn, stands out as a stark example of his ruthlessness. Her tragic end took place on Tower Green within the Tower of London. What's even more disturbing is the lack of concrete rationale behind her execution and the fact that the charges against her, including adultery and treason, appeared to be false, likely products of political manipulation and the king's relentless pursuit of a male heir. When Anne Boleyn became Henry VIII's second wife and queen, it sent shockwaves across England. The dissolution of the king's lengthy marriage to Catherine of Aragon was driven by the hope that Anne, a younger woman, might provide him with a male heir. Henry's desperation for a legitimate son to secure the Tudor dynasty and succeed him as King of England was palpable. At the time, a queen ruling over England was unthinkable, making the quest for a male heir an imperative one. Initially, Henry may have sought to make in his mistress, but she being a woman of strong morals, resisted his advances while he was still married to Catherine, and wisely held out, knowing that Henry would have to address the issues surrounding his existing marriage. Love letters exchanged between Henry and Anne revealed their deep affection for each other. They frequently exchanged gifts, but the major problem remained Henry's first marriage to Catherine of Aragon. Divorce, especially from a queen, was unheard of at the time. Catherine was a powerful and religious figure who believed her marriage to Henry was sacred and unbreakable. The Pope's refusal to grant the annulment Henry sought further complicated the matter. In 1531, Henry, fed up with the Pope's intransigence, took matters into his own hands. He banished Catherine from court, awarded her rooms to Anne, and declared his intentions to divorce Catherine. The Pope's refusal to acknowledge Henry's request eventually led to the Act of Supremacy in 1534, with Henry establishing himself as the supreme head of the Church of England. As Anne's coronation neared, there was great hope for a male heir. However, the birth of a daughter, Elizabeth, was met with disappointment. Anne's conversion to the Protestant faith added to the religious turmoil caused by her marriage to Henry. Anne's miscarriages further strained her marriage with Henry, who grew increasingly resentful. Henry's attentions shifted towards Jane Seymour, a lady at court, and Anne's subsequent miscarriage added to the tensions. Thomas Cromwell, a close adviser to the king, saw Anne as a threat and plotted against her, accusing her of adultery incest, and treason. A trial that followed was riddled with falsities and manufactured evidence. Anne and several men were found guilty and sentenced to death. Her execution was a private one, carried out by a skilled swordsman rather than a common executioner. And Boland's final moments were dignified. She made a touching speech, expressing her innocence and praying for the king's well-being. Her execution was witnessed by several court members, including Thomas Cromwell. Anne's head and body were buried within the Tower of London, a swift and sorrowful end brought about by political machinations and Henry VIII's unrelenting pursuit of a male heir. Today, Anne Boleyn is remembered as the tragic second wife of Henry VIII, a woman who faced an unjust downfall marked by failed pregnancies and political manipulation. Despite the dubious circumstances surrounding her rise, she was a woman of principles, refusing to become Henry's mistress while he was married. Her story is a testament to the ruthlessness of power and the unpredictable nature of history.